This styrofoam cutter is a very useful tool for modelers. I use it quite often and you might like it. This is a styrofoam slicer. It's used to slice styrofoam into sheets. This is a mock-up. I do everything first in mock-up and then once I get my design, I'm happy with the design, I go ahead and put it in final form. But in this case, this thing works so well, I said, hey, why waste the time on getting, uh, putting another one together? I use it like this. So, what is it? It's Nikron wire, and I have a couple bolts. The, the wire is strung through some electrical connectors put on the bolts. I added a piece of brass wire here so that it would slide and over here I have another electrical connector. I use let me focus this a little better here. These are terminal strips. I cut the terminal strips and put the Nikron in there, it holds the Nikron very nicely. Uh, once I go, if I go permanent, I can just twist the wire and do away with them. Now, the wire will stretch when you heat it. So, what I have is another bolt and a wing nut. I drilled a hole in the bolt and twisted some wire. Now, this will or should be a spring. Once I get a spring that's got a, the right tension, I'll put it in here. But what I did was, you know, in my own fashion, when I'm just tr testing things, I put up some rubber bands. They work real well. Uh, they, they keep it tight. And another uh, ring here so that I can connect the, the rubber bands across them. The wire can be adjusted up and down. Just pull it up and down on the screw. On the bottom, I connected the bolts with, uh, again, electrical connectors. I have corks I used for the legs, the wine bottle corks. I cut them in half. They, they make great legs. Now, what I'm going to do is just go up show you a picture from the top. It's very simple. This is all scrap. I just picked everything out of the scrap pile, put it together, and like I say, I'm very happy. You can make this, you know, the cost is peanuts. Alright, let me show you how I use it. First thing I do is I tighten my rubber band so that I've got a good tension on the uh, wire. Like I say, when I, when I turn the power onto the wire, it will stretch. So I don't want to, so I want to control the height of the wire. Now the wire height, pardon my hands in a way, but that's what it is right now. The wire height, I set uh, using the depth gauge part of a micrometer. That's very simple. I, in some cases, I may, I may want to cut something very thin. So I, I, because there are a couple nuts here holding this in place, I can't get the wire all the way down to the bottom. So I have a couple sheets of MDF form that I use that I can regulate the thickness. And, and you notice here, it, it, you can cut it extremely thin. Let me power this up, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to shave off a piece of uh, a module from a, from a diorama. I made this piece, it's too high, I've got to bring it down just a hair. 
Now, I, I measured this already. So here it is. I just have to slice the bottom of that off. Now, watch how well this works. Turn it on. Power it up. Good and hot. And I'll just work it across. There it is. I'll turn the power off. Look at that. How thin that is. That's, whoops, where is it? There it is. Look how thin. And I brought this down to exactly the size I want. It's that simple. Now, if I want, and I do this a lot, I cut bases for dioramas. And with them, it's just a matter, again, adjusting the height, put a thick sheet of styrofoam on there, and running it through. Inexpensive, easy. Go ahead, make one if you want to cut styrofoam sheets. This is part of my series about making dioramas and railroad scenery. There are a lot of links and information below this video. Be sure to drop down there and take a look at what is there. And please do take the time to subscribe. You can stay up to date with other things that I add. Have a nice day. Thank you for watching. And please do subscribe and hit the like button.